Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command. We're here with the final mission of the historical path of the first DLC, which is Operation Mercur. And it's May the 20th, 1941. As Commonwealth forces were evacuated from Greece, a good portion of them were transported to nearby Crete. The island occupies a strategically important position in the Mediterranean being within striking range of both the Romanian oil fields and the Suez Canal. Flushed with victory, the Germans prepare Unternehmen Mercur, an audacious plan to take the island from the air. Undertaken by the 7th Flieger Division and supported by Luftflotte 4, this will be the first purely airborne operation in history. Unbeknownst to the Germans, Allied intelligence have warned the defenders of the impending attack. For once, the element of surprise is not on the Axis side. As waves of, slum of lumbering JU-52s approach their drop zones, concealed Commonwealth positions prepare to open up. Uh, that's going to be pretty bad. I, I do expect to lose some units, units here, probably. Hmm. One final task remains before we look eastwards, Commander. The invasion of Crete, due to the special circumstances of the operation, you'll be commanding the forces at regimental and battalion level. Luftflotte 4 insists that it has fully suppressed the island's defenders and that the airfields and surrounding drop zones are safe for landings. But something feels off. Uh, okay, well, Chania turn 7... Svakia turn 12, just like Heraklion. Malim airfield is turned to and hold. Rathimno airfield is turned to and hold. And Heraklion airfield is also turned to and hold. Uh, the Agios Nikolaos is turn 12. And Castelli is also turn 12. Well, let's uh, use the remainder Heinkel 111 cards that we got here. That's pretty useful. For this mission, I'd say. You're not gonna attack there. So we have a lot of paratroopers. Now, I would assume that every hex, like the actual airfield hex, is probably taken. So let's land right next to it. Oh, wait, huh? I wanna. Come on. Seriously? Alright, let, let's use this. Oh. That, that's a, a lot of enemy units. Let's land. Take it. I'm quite surrounded here. Not good. Oh, we're a Thimno airfield. Let's try to land here. Take a look. Okay. Take it. I don't like that they have only two steps here. Hmm. I cannot land. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah. What you gonna do? Great. Uh. 10% only, huh? No, oh, they, they made it. Holy moly. Well, can't land on that, unfortunately. That's, uh... Do this and this. 
We have to take them by turn two, so not immediately. And uh, turn three, okay. HQ can drop only on those two. Let's just see what the AI does here. Okay, so they're gonna kill me. Guess that's one guy down. Now, f I have to hold them as well, so... Mm, Castelli is turn 12. I don't need to worry about it too much. Let's deploy you guys over here. So hopefully they get to hold. Although, of course, these guys with both Vickers and Engineers are quite powerful. Need to take the Heracleon airfield. I'm not too excited about this one because I only have units with uh, two steps at the max. really wanted to spot them. Uh, how's their supply doing? Pretty poorly. No, it's good there. Okay. Um, well, let's, let's take those stragglers. So we do have all of them, but we have to hold. Uh, now, I do get supply on the airfield itself. That That is at least nice. Uh, I have to hold, or I cannot lose these guys, they're both elite and have engineers, the only unit that has engineers here. I should probably try to beat these for now, they seem to be the most troublesome of all the enemy units. Probably the ones that get to deal the most damage. Um, so I think holding it or try to try to hold it like this might be my best shot. Uh, let's link up, although that probably does not matter here at Heracleon. No, okay. Um, that That's fine. I, I think we're doing a lot better than before already. So that's good at least. I'm only afraid of them, but we'll see how that goes. I cannot deploy them at any HQ yet. And my supplies are less than stellar, but I We'll have to try and deal with it. Yeah, especially for, for these, that, that's pretty bad. Um, question is, am I going to go for Castelli now? It does look pretty neat as an attack here. I mean, 0-2 is pretty good. Okay, got it. I have to make sure I hold on to the airfield. If I lose it, I'm in trouble. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Opal Blitz. That's very nice. Castelli is not a, a holding uh, objective. Do I grab this? Well, I'm going... Actually, what I want to do is I want to... Move you onto the airfield. 
Uh, yeah, this is a, a dock. So the great thing about it is that supplies will be available from there. Oh, never mind. Let's take it back. <laughs> I want to deploy these. Mm, yeah. Question is, am I going to move them for two? It is pretty dangerous doing things there in general. Mm. The real question is, am I going to attack there? So those attacks are pretty much never good. I cannot create a hub in any of those places. Unfortunate. I could if I took Heraklion, maybe. I'm not too sure. Well, let's. Try Shania. That didn't go too well. Mm, yeah, I, I guess for now. Let's do that. That really sucks, but I do think. It will be necessary. And they'll just take it easy on these guys. Well, yeah, they're not going to get off that hex. Thing is, I can't, I cannot switch them up actually. Well, no, I can. So, like, getting another Opal Blitz would be really useful right now. And I'll continue to try and beat these. I can actually deploy the HQ. Uh, that really helps as well. Especially since they will recover only three steps, so... I expect that to be quite useful. Luckily, the AI does n not seem exceptionally aggressive anymore. They probably have been beaten at least to the... Ow. To the point. Where they are no longer aggressive. Mm. Well, I, I will cash in that. Oh, yeah, I did, did just do that. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let's try to take Chania again. I guess I'll start working with feint attacks. Hmm. Let's 
so... Oh, look, I, I would expect this to be a decent attack now. I mean, come on. Cornered? Uh, come on. Really? I mean, I have plenty of time, don't get me wrong, but that is a bit frustrating. <laughs> a bit frustrating. Yeah, luckily I have plenty of turns, although I do need to take that on turn 7. That's kind of the thing. Uh, that is not great. I know the odds are pretty low, but... Well, at least they, they're out of their entrenchments now. Or at least the double entrenchments. Finally. Okay, now I really don't expect them to be aggressive anymore. Mm, let's just stay on, on that hex, actually. I, I don't really mind. I have to kind of just keep shuffling these guys around, which is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm coming from this side to attack them and... Okay, that that's all of the steps that I got. But it is enough. Mm, what do they got? Lay force, huh? They could actually deploy there too. Do I mind? Nah, probably not. I do have my most powerful forces now. Already fired up. Let's not attack uh, another time because they uh, they will lose too many steps and the enemy might actually trounce them that way. Uh, let's keep you on the airfield just in case. Okay, so... Obviously, it would be a poor attack, so I'm not going to deal with that. That's turn six. Ultimately, after the first one or two turns, this does not end up being too challenging, it seems like. Well, I did have 
a, two additional air attack cards, so maybe he, that did help as well. Okay, I'm feeling confident enough now here. And let's go after the weakest link. And join up. This will be a lot better once I take that city. Which I'll probably deal with soon enough. Take everything and yeah, we'll hold on to these airfields. Shouldn't forget Heraklion. So let's just send at least a unit over and you as well. Probably one of these two, but I'll see how uh, dangerous things are. Probably not overly complicated. Now, I think that if the AI was a lot more aggressive on this map, there is absolutely no chance for you to, to take it, I think. Luckily, the AI is not overly aggressive. And that eventually makes this map pretty easy. They don't get to deploy anything anymore, right? No. Let's get you in close, and this is their last bastion of defense. I'll take it down on the next turn. You could probably do this easily in uh, in 10 turns or so. Uh, 12 turns is a lot. Why would you need 12 turns to take all of that? Uh, especially because it doesn't matter how well I did up till now in the campaign. Like these Kavir Shaker, they will always be like this. So, like you don't take any forces with you on this map. So, yeah, it doesn't get easier if I have a bunch of overstrength forces and a lot of prestige. It really doesn't help me. So, I think anybody should be able to do this within a reasonable amount of turns. There we go. Not too bad. Um, surprisingly, I think this is the I would almost say the easiest mission of the campaign but uh, well who knows I, the very first mission is also pretty easy but I actually think that I found that more difficult than this one ultimately I don't know it was still fun though but uh, it could have been a bit more difficult either way that's it for the historical campaign with uh, Total victory and the scenario. Yeah, it's supply disrupted. Well enough. We get the milestone Rot Shined the Sonne, or Red Shines the Sun. Uh, with a reasonable score, I suppose. But that finishes the campaign. Um, let's take a look how things stand at that point. We've taken Yugoslavia, Greece, and Crete, and we'll see that 
the entirety of mainland Europe is subdued by the Axis. Uh, 1943 to 1945, victory in the West. That uh, That's the wrong medal, guys. That's definitely the wrong medal. But, you know what? It's um, probably another beta problem that you will probably not have if you're playing the actual uh, already released uh, full DLC by now. Uh, I will be starting up a campaign for the ahistorical uh, scenarios now, so uh, I will be back. Um, I will start that up with the first three missions already played. So I'm not going to replay any of the, the Polish missions because I, I've already done that. I know that they've changed the Polish plane up a little bit, but I, I don't think it's worth showing off that you know you have to get one of the objectives a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, so I'll be back and then I'll start with the uh, AS circle track right away after those three missions. Thanks for watching the historical campaign. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And you can donate on Patreon as well, if that's your thing. Um, yeah, I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.